Every brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, in the beginning you have no sound, it's my fault. I was grabbing some water. Uh, today our topic is, uh, you know, the Muslims always, they come to us with special questions and the questions are unique and they are really, uh, the logic of Islam is very amazing. Like, you know, in the intro here, we see how uh, Mimi Hijab, he said to Borat, that's the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And then Borat, he said to him, well, I have a phone book and it has zero contradiction. What does it have to do with being book of Allah or not? As mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from god or not i've had phone books that are inerrant but i certainly don't think god gave them <laughs> and here you're not you notice in a in a like in a little you know 30 seconds of thinking uh, it took him even less to discover that this is a very stupid logic and even borat he got them busted i mean what does have to do with being a book of god i mean this is very stupid argument and not only that, then we find that the Quran is full of uh, contradiction. But now we have another question. A Muslim asking Zuzu, uh, why Christians are more than Muslims? If Islam is the best. And look what Zakir Naik said. The next question, if Islam is the best religion, then why Christians are more in number than us? Mirza Wasif Zari from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mirza asked the question, if Islam is the best religion, then why are Christians? Point number. Point number one, those who are in the maximum number, those who are in majority, are not always right. This is a wrong concept, that those who are in majority are always right. And that which is in large numbers, correct. I can give you several examples. If you ask someone which is the best car available in the world, some may say Rolls Royce, some may say Bentley, but you know that the number of Rolls Royce in the world are very few. The number of Bentley are very few. The number of Maybach are very few. The largest company of cars that is sold is Toyota, and Toyota is not the best. <laughs> so now, Islam is the Rolls Royce. You know, here you see that, uh, how funny this, uh, this cult. When they want, they speak about their number. When they want, when the number is not really in their favor, suddenly Islam is the Rolls Royce. And this is actually remind me of uh, of the verse in the Quran where Allah He said He is the best of the creators. Do you remember that verse? Allah is the best of the creators. You know, many people don't, don't understand the stupidity in this verse, how much far it goes. Because if you ask the Muslims, can we compare Allah to anything? They say no. Then how you can compare the maker of his making? And how Allah is comparing himself by his making, supposedly he is God and he is the one who created them. And then he compared himself, and not only that, he say he didn't say even actually 
uh, he is he is like the amazing creator he said he is the best so there is many that are very good but Allah is the best so here you see how Zakir Naik and the rest of the Muslims they are bankrupt Islam is a stupid they have nothing really to be proud about their prophet is a child molester is a criminal is a thief even even his companion imagine you have these disciples accusing you that you steal clothing and the, the clothing they are fighting about it's something they stole already they are thieves all of them so this is how savage how trashy they are this gang member he is the head of the gang and the gang now is fighting who is the one who stole and then this guy he's tried to make uh, uh, you know a Quran uh, uh, like a book of God now a Muslim they might say to you because you don't speak Arabic uh, you know the Quran is an amazing book nobody can make Quran like it actually the Quran is is an extremely stupid book you will notice that the Quran always focus in two letters at the end two letters either ya wa ya wa nun like here khaliqin khaliqin yin makin tin yin and then he switched to wa nun <laughs> all the Quran the majority of the Quran, the last letters of the words is Wow Noon and Ya Noon. Let me type them for you just to show you what I'm talking about. Because you might, you know, because Arabic is not your language. So I, I will try to help you. Uh, let us see. Wa. Oops, we are typing in, in Arabic. This is one letter, but I will make it two letters so you can say it yourself. Wa, and then the letter next to it, attached to it, usually, is in. Or the other letter Muhammad he used, Ya, and then in you will find tons of verses in the Quran is like that why because simply those the, you know uh, the Arabic language as you know can in any language every language have certain letters they repeat a lot in many words as an example I, I do not speak in uh, Indonesian but I noticed that Indonesian end with a n many many words a n so in Arabic is the same so this is the easiest let us say, and the most easy words to find, because there's a lot of them, there's hundreds of thousands. In the same time, you see, when you make a, in Arabic, when you make a point, you see, you cannot make three words, and the, and the, and the sentence after is six or seven. You know what I mean? They have to be equal. Each part of the point, every part, every every line, there's two lines. So you cannot make one six words and the second one is two words or three words. Like here, if you go down here, look how big this one is. Number 14. You go up here, this is one, two, three, four, five, you know, six. You cannot do that. This is because Muhammad, this is the lowest in the language. A kid, he can make it. Uh, let me let me see if I can show you. You know, anyone who speaks Arabic, he will notice right away that in, in, in Arabic there is something called taklif, which means if somebody is trying, he is squeezing himself, trying to make a point or point, he, he cannot make it. 
but he is you know forcing himself and this is why here when when muhammad he said the sentence allah is the best of the creators you know he was looking for the word a word end with yin and if you remember the story when uh, abdullah ibn surah the one who left islam later he is the one who said it, and he was the one who is the scribe of Muhammad. He was present in the room with Muhammad, and Muhammad was telling him what to write. So he said to him that we made the nutfa into a cloth, etc. And then Muhammad, he stopped after saying this word uh, as uh, another creation. Muhammad, he stopped. The scribe of Muhammad continues saying, so blessed be Allah the best of the creators. And here you will notice that this does not make any sense. Who is talking here? Allah? <laughs> this is a sentence somebody else obviously is saying it. It cannot be the one who is... I mean, it's very funny that you are God. And now you are blessing yourself. In the top of that, because you are looking for the letters, which is always you try to end your your uh, words with it, wa n or ya n. So now we have to find the word, and then we end with al khaliqin because the guy he said that. So Muhammad he took it, he put it exactly as it is, and when the guy he said to him, well, uh, how how come to put it down? I am the one who said, fatabarak Allahu ahsan al khaliqin. I am the one who said. Uh, uh, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad he said to him, well, this is how it came to me. And then the guy, he said to himself, well, if Muhammad is claiming to be a prophet, well, I am prophet too then, because I received this verse before him, which means he knew that Muhammad now is a fraud and he left Islam. And then he ran away. And the story is long because he was the brother of Uthman ibn Affan and Muhammad, he ordered to kill him, even if he hide inside the Kaaba. And then Uthman ibn Affan, he begged Muhammad to forgive him and he promised him he will convert to Islam again just to save his life. So as you see, the Muslim, when they try to prove to you, uh, you know, anything in the Quran, uh, they come always with a funny, weird idea. If this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Well, all the book is a contradiction. The sentence we are reading itself is a contradiction. If we ask the Muslims, who is the one who sent the blessing? They will say Allah. Okay. When Allah, he blessed himself, what happened exactly? You see, I can accept a, a prophet of God is a pro, you know, is meditating, saying, you see, like in the Bible, we have prophets it's speaking to God, prophet, uh, uh, even the son is speaking to the father. But here, this is the God himself speaking to himself. So blessed be the one. He is the best of the creator and, and creators. And this is wrong in the meaning, wrong in the discussion, because we can discuss really the creators when there is only one. And wrong in the compar comparison, because it's a stupid to compare between someone is not exist. When we say the best of the creators, where are the creators? So we can compare Allah to them. And if you say, that, like as we said before, a bicycle, that is more stupid because that means Allah is the best to create a bicycle. But Allah never created a bicycle. Allah never created a table. If this is a creation. And all of us, we knew that the creation about creation of life. And this is what the verse is saying. Isn't it the most time they say, you are taking the verse out of context? Well, here we go, speaking about creating flesh, blood sperm which is very weird and very wrong scientifically and this is what Allah meant he is the best of the creator that means there is others who create sperm others who create blood other who give life and the Quran continue always to be silly uh, Request to explain 113.3. Okay, we will go there. There is, I mean, what is the special about 113? And you want special interpretation too? Maybe then other day. Let us finish this topic here. So, 
when when I am a writer and I am God and I am the best of writing, and I uh, you know I don't speak uh, foolishness, I don't say things without meaning, I don't say things meaningless. Uh, I find that the whole Quran is meaningless. If you read with me here as an example, indeed we have created above you seven heavens. This is the Muslim translation. If you change the translator, verse number 17, this is Hilali Khan. You go to, let us say, Yusuf Ali. Do you see what it's the, the different? The other one, he said seven heaven. This one, he said seven tract. Is that the same? Muslims, is that the same? And here we notice that if the Quran is made in a good language, the Muslims will not be getting dizzy and one say seven heaven and the other one say seven tracts. Because seven tracts is not the same as seven heavens. Is that correct? What seven tracts? Why? Because here it says Tara'iq. He did not say heaven. So the Muslims, because they are trying to find what this, what the, what the heck this guy is, is saying, what he mean, so you will see the Islamic translation and therefore the Islamic interpretation for every verse is total different story. As if you are reading different book. So how this book is made by a, a, a good language and then the book language is very annoying, very unclear, very silly and very stupid. And then we create on top of you seven tracks, seven roads. What does that mean? Nobody knows. And then, and we never uh, uh, unmindful of our creation. What does that mean? There's any Muslim can tell me what does that mean? What, what the heck is that? And then Muhammad, he continued, Aka Allah. And then we send down water. What does this have to do with this? What, the, what, what is that? Uh, is that the book of Genesis, supposedly? If you read from verse number one to verse number two, verse, you will see that there is, it doesn't, it's, it's not really connected like here. You can have sex except with everybody, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, blah, 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 okay? So uh, those women, they abstain from, uh, from they, they protect their vagina, not sex, it says they uh, protect their vagina, except from those who, you know, they are their husbands and the captive. The captive, they can protect their vagina. They, they're, they're, their vagina is a garage. So what does this have to do with this and this and this and this and this and this from vagina and then to heaven. And then we created the human being from a clay. And then we made him from a spoke. What is that? What is the connection? I mean, imagine you are reading a book of an author and this author, he keep jumping from place to place to place. A second ago, we were talking about women and slaves the women who they are married, they guard in their vagina, and the slaves, they open their vagina. Less than a few inches after, we are talking about who we made the baby. Few inches after, not even an inch, we are talking about the water coming from the sky. An inch before it, we made this, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, on the top of you seven ways. What top, what, what do you mean top of us? What is the top of us exactly? Like in my time now, it's night. Which means what is top now is going to be underneath later. And then, and then, okay, we send down water. Okay, what is what what is that? And then uh, we made the uh, gardens and also trees out of the Mount Sinai. Look, what does this have to do with this? We were speaking about something, now we end with the Mount of Sinai. I 
I mean, do you see how stupid this book is? And now we are talking about the Mount of Sinai. We made we made a, a trees coming out of Mount of Sinai, and those Sinai they can produce you all and relish. I mean, what this guy is telling us is that a news? Guys, Allah, he made oil. What do you want more? And then suddenly, and in the cattle, okay, let's talk about cattle now. Hmm? Huh? Okay, ye have an instructive uh, example from the, their uh, bodies. We produce milk. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is that? What's exactly this teacher is trying to teach me if he's God? And then suddenly, look at this. And on them, as well as the ships, on them what? Guys, you will go, really will go crazy. And on them, as well as in ships, you ride. What ships have to do with the animals now? Is Allah claiming that the ships he made too? So Allah, he is claiming that we ride animals the same way we ride ships. What is the connection? And then suddenly we go to Noah. Here we go, he mentioned ships. So Muhammad remember something. Let us talk about Noah. So look how this chapter, I mean, it is endless stupidity. We are jumping from place to place. You know, like, you know, the Quran is like, you know, the flea market. One guy, he is selling uh, couches. The, the guy next to him, he is selling uh, uh, vegetables. The other one next to him, he is selling uh, rags. I mean, everybody, they don't match with, you know, each other. But it's, it's a flea market. This is the flea market. Every verse is a story. And actually, we have to give Allah some credit, Akka Muhammad. He admit that he will write a book better than this book in the future. In chapter 2, verse 106, Allah, He decided to tell us the truth. It's a moment of truth. None of our revelation we abrogate or we cause to be forgotten, but we are going to sub substitute something better or similar. Have you ever heard of someone is proud about himself to be God? He is the best of the creators. Let me let me assume he is the best of the writers. Let me let me assume he is the the best of the talkers. Let me assume he is the best of talk and making uh, poetry. Let me assume he is the poet uh, best in everything. And then Allah he say ha, he is going to write something better. From what? From the Quran. Okay, hold hold on. So Allah is going to upgrade. No, not only he is going. On. Why Allah want to upgrade? I mean, the guy he says something today, he changed it second day. If you go to the interpretation of this verse, you will see the Arab they were laughing at Muhammad. This guy he enjoy his followers with Allah. Yesterday he changed it today in the morning. This is what he do always. So why Allah need even to abrogate? Well, Allah was not sure. I mean, we are not talking about, you see, in the time of Adam, the children, they can have sex with their sisters because that makes sense. There is no, there is no human being except them. So by time that there was no law, but, you know, God allow that at that time you can marry your sister. So I can say through long period of time, things change. But this guy, he go to sleep, he woke up, he have a new law, he canceled the old law. And not only that, he claimed that he caused the law to be forgotten. 
And here I ask the Muslims to tell me what exactly the verses in the Quran, which was the used to be law, Allah, he caused you to forget. Do you know how many? If you know how many, that means you are a liar because that means you did not forget them. <laughs> you know, I remember I was debating a Muslim sheikh and I asked him this exact same question. I said, okay, how, what is the verses which Allah, he caused you to forget? You said, you Muslims, that the Quran is preserved. He said, no, 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 we know them all. We know them all. All of them, all of them. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah. We know them all, all of them, I assure you, I swear by Allah. I, you know, I can open the camera for you now and I put my hand in the Quran and I swear by Allah that we remember them all. We have them reserved. I said, that's mean the Quran is a lie because the Quran says, cause them to be forgotten. And you just said, you remember them all. Who is the stupid here? The guy he hang up? And he never called again. It's a preserve, brother. Oh, yeah, we know them all. Preserve, preserve. No, 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 no. Nothing is missing. Nothing is missing. Nothing is missing. But the Quran is saying, cause it to be forgotten. So if it's cause it to be forgotten, that means it's cause it to be forgotten. So how you can remember it? And now we ask the Muslims, how many maybe how many books Allah caused you to be forgotten and why why does God he will send you something and then he caused you to forget Allah will erase your memory because there is something shameful there what is the point what is that and then when he say he will make something better or similar similar aren't you ashamed so now you will abrogate it to make it similar so now you will make me forget the law because you want to make a similar law? Who is the stupid here? And then, you know, if you continue reading, I mean, okay, what the verse here before it have to do with the verse after it? It says here, it's never the wish of those without faith among the people of the book. I mean, how stupid you are. If they have no faith, how you call them people of the book? Do you understand people? You call people people of the book if they are following a book. If they are they are not, then they are not people of the book. It's like saying the people of honor, and then you accuse them that have they have no honor. Who is the stupid here? So he just said that those people, they have no faith. And by the way, this is even stupid translation. And then he says from among the people of the book. How you accuse them to become kuffar. Kuffar, they are kuffar. And then you say people of the book, who, um, you know, the one who read the book is mentally ill. And then it says here that the Christians and the Mushrikeen, they don't want you to have any good. But is that true? Look, Muslims, when you seek refugee, which country you go to? Who is the one who gave you free shelter, free food, free school for your children, free health insurance? Be honest. Is that Saudi Arabia? Is that Egypt? Is that Erdogan? Even the refugee of Erdogan are paid by European Union. And each time Erdogan, he wants something, he threat European Union, he will send all of them to Europe. And then he take the money and he spend it not on the refugee. He give the refugee a little bit and the rest of it, it goes to the Turkish. Which means this verse is proven to be wrong and false and just spreading hate. 100,000 Afghani just to USA came to USA. I don't know how many to England. I don't know how many to, to other countries. All 
whole Pakistani, they come to you to England. But this guy is saying that those people, they hate you and they don't want anything good for you. But the one who take care of them, there is two million Syrian refugees in Germany alone. I mean, did the German, they, they claim that the German is fascist, they are Nazi, they are uh, Hitler people, they are, you know, and then two million Muslims. They don't go to Malaysia, they don't go to Indonesia, they don't go to uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, rich countries, Emirates, and they go to Germany. So if you read anywhere in the Quran, you will see how stupid this book is and how Muhammad he jump from place to place. Like here, speaking about people in the book, then here, talking about abrogation of his verses, which means this is about Muhammad and the Muslims. And then here, uh, don't you know that to Allah belong to everything in earth and heaven? What does this have to do with this? Okay, everything belongs to Allah in the earth and the heaven. What does this have to do with abrogating their verses and causing us to be forgetting it? And then you want to make something better or similar. What is the connection exactly? And then here, what, what does this have to do with the one before it? Would ye question your messengers as Musa's? What, what, what Musa's? What your messenger? Where we went? Where we go? Where we are? Suddenly now, we jump to Moses. Once, one of my cousins from Saudi Arabia, he was driving in the highway, and he heard the radio, the radio station, saying, warning, warning, a crazy driver driving in the wrong direction, in the highway, etc., Warning, a crazy driver driving in the opposite direction in the highway, let us say, uh, you know, uh, 101. My cousin, he was listening to the radio. Hmm. He said to himself, <laughs> oh boy. And one, say one, say two, say three, say four, say seven, say 10, and he start counting all the cars driving in the wrong direction because it was him, the crazy driver going in the wrong direction. So he start counting all the cars coming in front of him, all the cars coming in the wrong direction. He did not notice that the radio station talking about him, and this is exactly the scenario of the Abdul. Abdul, he go in the highway of Allah. And then he opened this Quran. And then every highway is an exit. Here, come here, go there. Suddenly go to Moses, go, go to Jesus, and then go back to Adam. And then go back to Torsina. And then we talk about the baby, how we made the baby. And then suddenly we are talking about thunder. And don't forget, and now it's time, if it's okay for you, if you want to eat in your house, if you are sick, or in the house of your cousin, or in the house of your parents, or in the house of your mother, or the house of your father. I mean, what the heck is that? A Muslim driving in the wrong highway direction, he look around him, he think, all of you are wrong. But when we read here, we see this is really crazy. I mean, what is that? Is Muhammad trying to prove that he have God? Here he was talking against the Christian. Here he is talking about Allah what he is doing. He is talking about abrogation of verses. Here he was talking about the Christian, they don't like you to have something good. And there, here, he repeat the same thing. He's, he go back to zero. And then suddenly, uh, steadfast and pray. Like when you go to the uh, uh, mental hospital, you will see, you know, people, they look normal some, somehow, but as, as long as they don't talk, they are fine. 
The second they start talking, things go, you know, go crazy. So, okay, and be stead uh, fast in prayer and regular charity. Okay, what does, what does have to do with the one before it and the one before it and the one before it? And then go, we go back now to talk about the Christian and the Jew. And now he go back to talk about the Muslims. And now he go back to talk about the Jews and the Christians. And what does first have to do with the verse before it? And look at this one. And now we are talking about the direction. And then now we are talking about, they say that Allah have a son. Like what the topic today? Imagine Allah, he opened a YouTube channel. What's exactly the topic today, Allah? Allah will drive you not. And look at the logic. They say that Allah begotten a son. And then he say here, to him do the primal origin of the heaven and the earth, he decrees matter. If he said B, it is what? What does this have to do with this? And what Allah he said B and it was. I have a challenge to the Muslims to name for me one decree of Allah he said B and it was. The God of the Jews and the Christians, he said, let be light, light was. Where Allah, he said, be and anything was. From your Quran, I'm not asking you even for evidence, like in science, I'm just telling me, tell me from your book, where Muhammad in the Quran, he claimed, he made a verse in the Quran, says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to him, be and he was. But if we go and check, we will find that neither Adam Neither Jesus was created by B. Allah created Adam by his two hands and he created him from mud, which means he made a clay, mixing dirt with water. And then he breathed and he fashioned him. And then the last step, he breathed into him. And then Allah took him a lot of time to finish it. Actually, according to the Hadith, it took Allah 40 years just to dry the statues of Adam. Which makes sense. I mean, he is, was he was worried he would break right away. So he had to dry him. So he made the statues. Remember the story we mentioned to you when Shaitan, he went inside uh, the snake, you know, to enter heaven. And if you remember, we did read that Shaitan, he went inside Adam from his mouth. He came out from his anus. And then he told the angels, because him and the angels, they were looking, what is that? What Allah, he just made. He's not moving. He's not talking. He's from clay. So he, he left him in the clay for 40 years. And shaitan, he entered into his mouth and he came from his anus. And then shaitan, he came out and he told the angels, don't worry. He's empty from inside. Not like your God Allah. Your God Allah is full. Full? Full with what? <laughs> so don't worry he is empty from inside so here and then right away they say look we jump to different story now because Muhammad he had this ability they keep asking Muhammad saying okay why your God don't talk to us why you don't God your God don't give us a sign I mean what's wrong with that he claimed to be a prophet all the prophet of God they have signs they have miracles where is your sign And what the answer? <laughs> so say the people before them, words of similar import, their heart are alike. And we have indeed made a clear sign. Where are they? Where is the clear signs? If you remember, there was a guy, his name, apostate prophet, was debating with Muslim girl. And the Muslim girl, she said, that the reason nobody saw the moon splitting because 
their body was asleep. And it was very, like one second. <laughs> and then we go back to the Jews. <laughs> and look here, just to show you another stupid proof of Islam to be stupid. It says, ne never will the Jews and the, or the Christians will be satisfied with thee unless you follow their religion. But as we know, especially in the time of Muhammad, maybe now the Jews, because you know they are trying to get in number, so they are accepting people who they are not really Jews. But we know that Jews, you cannot, you cannot join Judaism. Doesn't matter who you are, even if you decide to believe, you can believe in the God of the Jews, but you will not be a Jew. And they will not accept you to be one of them. So how you are going to be following the religion? You see, if we go in the Quran, you will see the Quran keep saying, children of Israel, children of Israel. So who is the Jews? Children of Israel, that's mean they are an ethnic, they are not only people of like following religion. They are an ethnic group. Children of Israel. Not children of Adam. Children of Adam will make everybody. So again, Muhammad is just a foolish man. He is just a throwing words, trying to make a book, and the book is very weird, very stupid, very funny. And then the Muslim, when they talk about who is the best religion, Zakir Naik, he compare his religion to Rose Rice. He want to explain why Muslims are not the majority. He says, what about Rose Rice? Rose Rice? You know? Suddenly, Islam is a Rose Rice. Then why Christians are more in number than us? Mirza Wasif Zari from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mirza asked the question, if Islam is the best religion, then why are Christians more in number? Point number one, those who are in the maximum number, those who are in majority are not always right. This is a wrong concept that those who are in majority are always right. And that which is in large numbers, I can give you several examples. If you ask someone which is the best car available in the world, some may say Rolls Royce, some may say Bentley, but you know that the number of Rolls Royce in the world are very few. The number of Bentley are very few. The number of Maybach are very few. The largest company of cars that is sold is Toyota, and Toyota is not the best. It may be, it may not be. For knowing what is the best, you have to analyze the specifications. If you want. We have to analyze the specification. Okay, what is the specification? As an example, the best religion who provides suicide bombers, terrorists, children in the street, the best religion who marry children, which is rape, the best children, best religion in divorce. Divorce is just one, like a text message, as simple as that. The wife, she will be cooking in the kitchen. She have no idea. The guy was playing card with a friend. And he said, I swear by Allah, if I lose today, I'm going to divorce my wife. I need to divorce her. This is how easy. The best in what? In the other day, I was looking to a video in uh, YouTube. You know, you uh, look at this face of, mashallah. What are you doing, Zakir? I stop you there, I don't mean it, sorry. Don't stay like that, man. You scared me. Are you, is that a case? <laughs> so, I, you know, I went to, uh, uh, you know, YouTube suggest to me videos. And the video came in my way. It's about Bangladesh. Oh boy. 
the guy was talking about rose rice. This is the train station. And this is the train. The streets are so dirty. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to go there. You can watch any videos and then you tell me when the Muslim they speak about the best, what is exactly the best? No security. You go in the Middle East. All right, let us not talk about Bangladesh. Every house need steel bars and the door have to be from steel. That is telling you how much security we have there. You see, you go in USA and you will find all the windows are normal. There's no bars. The moment you start seeing a lot of bars, or all the windows have bars, it means there's no safety. People, they seek such a thing, which will make their house ugly, because you will, you know, it's like, you will feel like you are sitting behind, the, inside jail, you know? So why do you want to put bars? Because simply you are seeking security. But nobody talk about, like they speak about, you know, if, if, uh, if something happened in USA, uh, USA, Chicago, the gang, the mafia, you know, shooting, you know, in USA, if somebody shoots somebody, the whole news will keep repeating for the coming week. In two seconds. In the Middle East, if somebody kill a family, if somebody, if the, uh, the government, they will make even the whole city disappear. Nobody will talk about it. For me, if I want to compare about Islam or non-Islam, I'm not going to compare because there's a huge population, they are poor, no. I will talk about the quality of the religion. What Islam made out of Muslims? Did Islam make Muslims better people? You see, the Bible said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And I want to leave you to think about this sentence, which our Lord the Messiah said long time ago from their fruit you shall know them and then you will be able to know what is Islam is there's no single country in the Middle East have a freedom of speech am I lying Muslims am I lying not a single country in the Middle East have security Not a single country in the Middle East have a human right. And the same for every single Islamic country. So what Islam did exactly? Islam failed to give you the right to be human. Islam is busy about forcing you what to wear, what to eat. But you cannot say your mind and you cannot think Islam even punishing you if you do art. Islam punish you if you play music. And I'm talking about severe punishment. I'm not talking about just punishing you. Even Muhammad, he says, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey for just listening to music. A woman, she put a perfume, she is a whore. But Muhammad put perfume. And Muslim men, they put perfume when they go out. A woman, she take hair from her face. Allah and the angel will curse her. This is what Islam is busy doing to you, disturbing your life, destroying your life, and you cannot be a you as a human no more. Islam is a, is, a, is a false cult. It's not even a cult, it's just a garbage. Destroy the human inside you. You cannot think the second you think you are dead. The, think you, the second you question, you are dead. You have to shake your head with somebody, he said what he said 1400 years ago, even if he said that the sun set in a spring of boiling water. And he, Allah, he found where the sun sitting. And Allah is telling us about people who they are not a human and they are Gog and Magog. And they are, each one of them, uh, uh, of us is equal, like there's 1,000 of them, one of us. So if we are seven or eight billion, they are seven, eight trillion. Where are they?
and how you can hold them behind a dam. That is the most stupid belief ever. So where is you as a human, as a Muslim? What Islam did to you? Think about it. Leave a comment. And let us see who is the best Muslim who can come with the best answer. And maybe Allah, the best of the creators, will make you join him to be a creator too. Because remember, Allah is the best of the creators. So come and create an idea. And let us compare your idea to the idea of Allah. I want to say thank you guys for being here. As you notice, you know, uh, today I, like I was saying, that people are not really doing a good job. I stay here for many hours every day almost. Five hours, six hours, sometimes eight. And still we are not getting what we deserve. So what we will do to make it simple. This is a video. Today is a Tuesday. Uh, I will go back when we have 20,000 view for this video. Can we do that? Is it hard? I saw a video of a guy, he made a video just a few days ago about French fries. He have a million of you. Silly video about eating French fries. So why a video of a French fries is getting a million of you? And we are not. Do you have best, better French fries than mine? <laughs> the world is weird. I don't know how things work. But honestly, this world is sick. And it makes me sick. And sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I don't know what to do. I mean, it's really weird how people, human being, they, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I will do my part. So help me to go back fast. Life. Let us have 20,000 people here. And we will be ready to go. All right. All right. Uh, I just received a message from Jibril. And peace be upon him. He says he sent me Quran. And the Quran uh, was lost in the delivery. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, he said, don't forget. Allah will cause you to forget it. And he will send something better or similar. Okay? This is Quran. If this is what God can do, what a human can do. And when we say stupidity is amazing, we mean it. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. Remember, let us have the 20,000. Very small number. Do it. Do it or else. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 